So, the Mies. What is really with the Mies? No one really talks about them in Smash, besides some of the costumes like Cuphead and Sans. Why? There's a lot of customization with the Mies, and today I'm going to show off some of the stuff I have customized. Some of the Mies I've made, and, you know, the ones I'm proud of. And why I did this? Well, I don't know, man. I was bored. So, yeah, without further ado, let's get into the Boogaloo. So first off, this guy right here is the delinquent. This is uh, meant to be the delinquent from Roblox Arsenal. If you've played Arsenal or know anything about this game at all, that it is a first person shooter game. It was actually pretty hard trying to get the exact team color and showing that it's um, the delinquent from Arsenal. But eventually, I just went with the Smash outfit and it looked pretty well. It fit pretty well and you know, I think you can recognize this is the delinquent if you played Arsenal. Next up, we have Dio and Kakyoin from JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. It is definitely my favorite anime as of currently. I've been watching a lot of it, and I wanted to kind of remake them in Super Smash Bros. And I think I did a pretty decent job of doing it. Some didn't turn out like I wanted to because I obviously had to work around it. I know it's not an exact mirror image, but I think I did pretty decent with it. So, uh, we got Cacoin right here with the little uh, pinkish reddish hair and the green outfit, the green biker outfit. I've been playing the Miis since Smash 4 on the Wii U and I've grown to really like them over the years. They are very fun to play customizable you can make different ones like you know give them different accessories give them different voice lines moves and everything and honestly and honestly i'd say it's one of the most fun i've had in smash to customize all these me's and you know make my favorite characters into me's in smash bros as playable characters for reference here are some of the Mies I've worked on. Like I said, this is the delinquent from Roblox Arsenal. And um, I actually made the uh, his little cooler counterpart, the cool inkwent. It was hard to make his name like that, so it's a little misspelled intentionally because, you know, funny character limit. This is obviously the delinquent that's cool from Arsenal, which is like a special variant of the delinquent, just with glasses and, you know, it's funny. It's literally just the same thing as the delinquent. Just blue and with cool epic shades. Obviously, DL is self-explanatory. It was pretty hard to get his voice down, but we managed to get it. And we used the vampire garb outfit because, well, look at that. It fits him pretty well. It's a little bit hard to do sometimes because um, some of the limitations for the Mies, for example, I tried making Speedwagon here from JoJo's Bizarre Adventure Part 3, Phantom Blood, but it didn't go as well. I'd say you could still kind of recognize him, but some of the, um, what do you call it? Some of the appearances look a little weird until you, like, you say, you point it out, and you're like, uh, by the way, that's Dio. I'm like, you know, that's Jotaro, that's Joseph, but with the right practice and... You'll eventually manage to replicate it somewhat. Obviously, it's not going to be perfect, but it's still going to look pretty well, and it's still charming to see your favorite characters in Smash Bros. And you made them. Unless you downloaded them or something, I don't know. Here we have Joseph Joestar. I know his hat isn't exactly like that, but I had to work with it because obviously some of the hats and accessories are a little bit limited. I'd say I did a pretty decent job of replicating him. It was actually very hard, but that's where the fun comes in because it was really fun to create these characters and try to figure out what looks accurate about them, what looks good. How do I how do I replicate it? How will people recognize it? Here's an example. I tried making Ponerlyph. It was actually really difficult. This was really difficult because Ponerlyph's hair is pretty much like a skyscraper and getting his sword to be at least somewhat accurate is also a little hard um given the outfit limitations because 
the outfits didn't really work out as well as you can see it doesn't even look like powerlift with these other options so we were pretty limited but we kind of made it work it, it kind of looks like an old man just a random old man but i guess we kind of kind of improvised i have to say the Mies are very, very fun to play, and, you know, maybe you could try it out one day. Anyways, I wanted to showcase these guys off in battle. Mind you, this is against a level 9 CPU, so wish me some luck. And this is a little custom stage at me, how fitting, am I right? Ooh, boy, oh. Meme. Oh, nice counter. Epic counter. I forgot about the counter. The counter is actually really hard to pull off for some reason because it's like a very, very short time span in, um, you know, the time that you get to counter. But the counter does help if you time it right. It's for me personally, it's really hard to time like really fast counters like DOs here, but it is doable. It's hard, but doable. Obviously, I prefer more, like, I guess, what do you call it? Slower counters, like with Ikes. Even though it's slow, it feels like you get more time to um, manage to counter that. Ooh! Like that. <laughs> I didn't even intend to do that. But okay, that's epic. The me Brawlers are really, really powerful with combos, because, like, you can pull off some really epic combos, like I mentioned earlier. And manage to kill. My boy! My boy Dio! He did it! Now, this is the delinquent from Roblox Arsenal. Oh boy, this will probably be a blast. The delinquent... Um, well, me gunners in general are very good with ranged attacks because, like, you can pretty much destroy from long range, and it makes it is actually really, really useful because once you get to, I guess, master the, uh, the me gunner, you're pretty much an unstoppable force of greatness if you're against a, a close range player, unless, you know, something happens because, you know. Remember, I don't really play much competitive Smash Bros, because, like, ew, ew. Ooh! 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 Thank you. Thank you, Bowser Jr. You saved me for once. Come on. Come on. <laughs> Got him. God. I love... I love the way I made the delinquent. Look at this Look at this awesome dude. Well, fellas, that's really it for this video. I'm Mythic J, and I'm Mythic Gone. I'll see you guys later in the next video, vlog, live stream, or whatever. I should probably do a live stream eventually again. Anyways, goodbye.